Hello, ladies, gents, and sore ridden meth addicts. We return to Spelunky speedruns. Man, I was playing around. I was playing around with the. Not with anything weird or sexual. I was playing around with the webcam. And I was like, I just don't like it. I don't like it for Spelunky. It obscures too much of the screen. I cannot find a good spot to place it where I am uh, satisfied with the information being conveyed to the viewer. Like, it just doesn't work for Spelunky. There's always so much information on screen that it seems very vital to not just me, the player, but also towards you seeing the threads that are coming around and where the shopkeepers are at. And I'm just not satisfied with any spot. Not the corners, not the side of the screen. Well, there goes the freaking uh, parachute preventing me from descending in a daredevil move. This is going to be amazing. Grab that. So I was like, you know what? For Spelunky, I'm just not going to use it, but I'm still going to experiment with it in games like RimWorld and Slay the Spire, where it, it, I think it definitely does add a little bit to the viewing experience because there are a lot of downtime thinking moments. There's a lot of, of you know, sort of lulls. Wow. <laughs> what a jump from this guy. What the hell just happened? Oh, the... Whoa. Let me... Oh, man. Oh, man. My headphones, for some reason, stopped working. And the sound went all the way to my speakers. You may have heard a massive echo. There you go. Yeah? Are you are you taking... No? No? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Oh, no. All right. I'm back. I'm pretty sure that's good. But for some reason, the headphone jack does not want to stay jacked. I want it to be jacked so that it can pump my anus, but it doesn't want to be jacked. Oh boy, we're just going to get through the exit. It's all good. This is an excellent scene and we're going to have a world record right here. World record where I am concerned. It is Blargo percent. What we're going to, <laughs> to achieve is Blargo percent. Well, that is not exactly what I intend. I intend to simply jump through the exit, but it did not work out. So anyway. Yeah, I was experimenting with it, was not pleased. It was not uh, up to my standards of information on the screen. I do feel often like uh, if I watch somebody playing Splunky, they have a face cam. It, it, there is just nowhere to put it that will be... It's a rope here, it's awful. Goodness, these levels are atrocious. Whoa. Why? I, I avoided death. I avoided full minute in disaster. And for some reason, I didn't commit to it. I wasn't like, appreciate what I got. And uh, be thankful for the second lease on life. Instead, I just jump back into the maw of the beast right away. Absolute nonsense. So that is my, my tribulation today. I hope that you appreciate being made privy to my terrible problems. Ooh, hello, my good sir. You have good stuff. I resent the fact that we had to grab that, uh, grab those climbing gloves. But you know what? They're going to be fine. These climbing gloves are actually going to save my life at some point when I need to replenish the, the fuel on this jetpack. I could have simply done this. That was just pretty damn silly. Oh boy. Teleported a little too high, but it was all good. This teleporter, you just you wait, man. It's going to be the key to the absolute fastest. What? <laughs> you know what? I was not aware that you could teleport that far. That was the maximum range of teleportation. I would still own that choice. I would definitely say that was in still was the right choice. Man, maybe you stupid got an arrow to the mouth there, but it's all right. He survived. He's a trooper. Uh, because it was an extremely low percentage choice. It was indeed the path that I should take. We often talk in these decision-making scenarios where you need to be focused on what is the best choice regardless of results. You might still get completely destroyed by the outcome, but you can't be an outcome-oriented player. Otherwise, 
you're not going to maximize your percentages on, in the general sense. You're just going to be succeeding on flukes. I was going a little bit forward there because maybe there was a shop that we could rob. But instead, there was a shop that we could steal. Where are you? Yeah, I got nothing there. That is the stupidest... Stupidest joke. I make this joke all the time. Whenever... Whenever my wife talks about paying bills, I'll just supplant Bill with a different name and think that's funny. What other common English words are actual first names that I constantly, constantly substitute? Yes, I got lots of bruises. I have so many bruises, they became Steve's. That's, somehow that's a joke inside my head and the, it never translates well. And I don't know why. It's just such a clever way of of uh, playing with words. And it really should be appreciated, damn it, for the incredible quality humor that it is. But people just don't get it. People just don't get it. They're just not the advanced next level humoristic genius paragon that I am. Therefore, they don't appreciate... I'm just descending here, taking the point of damage like a champ. Being... The most useless piece of garbage. Oh boy. The boomerang guardian, we often succumb to his evil ways. Thankfully, I was too damn woke to his shenanigans. Why am I going this way? Well, <laughs> look, it just didn't look like it kept going down. It simply, it appeared, what the? It appeared. Like, the exit was the other way, and now I've been monkey forced. It's a, it's a euphemism. Let me just put my on my misery. This is awful. I hate everything that's happening right now. Let's simply regroup and go back. Maybe do a little bit better. What was that? Descent. Oh, no, man. I don't know. I don't know. Too, <laughs> Too over to this side of my desk. This is terrible. There we go. We're, I'm back. Back in the middle of my desk where I can have a centered view of my computer. I always go that way, just hopeful that the arrow trap does not point the way to the exit. Every time I get screwed by nonsense level configurations. So yeah, I don't think you can expect that face cam happening in this channel. Bit of Blarga though, I think I'm going to give it a chance. Especially because, you know, the games that I'm playing right now, RimWorld. That's a big fat old spot on the screen where you can just shove that face cam in there and you lose nearly zero information from the game. Same thing with Slay the Spire. The right hand side towards the top. No information being conveyed in that area. And it's not like obscuring the enemy models, which you don't. But obscuring the enemy models, not a big deal whatsoever in Lady Spire because Lady Spire has, and I know, and I say this love because I am bona fide addicted to the damn game right now. Wow. But holy crap, is the enemy design, visually speaking, absolute dog, dog barf. It is just so bad. <laughs> just blobs. Uh crab shells taken over by some monster the one i do enjoy is the rat which is being taken over by fungi but still a mushroom taking over a rat uh, i think that one's clever i like that one but so many of them they're a weirdly drawn thief nothing to it other than he walks funny <laughs> it's like holy crap you guys needed some kind of graphic designer, not just graphic designer. Wow. Because the concept of the enemies themselves is just awful. <laughs> I mean, not all of them, obviously. Uh, you know, either awful, generic, forgettable. There are some that are really cool, especially the, some of the bosses are pretty damn awesome. The the timekeeper and uh, I'm okay with the, the heart even though it's another uh, kind of another blob but not so bad yeah 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 give me that jetpack yeah this jetpack right here is my ticket 
to another personal best. Just you wait, it's going to be incredible. What else uh, can I crap on this game that I absolutely love and, and adore? It's just all the all the oozes, man. It's just way too many oozes in that game. <laughs> it's way overboard. It's like I get that you're an RPG, it's sort of you know, deck builder, but it, you know, a fantasy setting needs to have its slimes. But oof, a few hundred too many. Well, that dog did not have a good time. That was one of the worst experiences for a major stupid I've ever seen. <laughs> the poor dog, I mean, saved me from horrendous disfigurement. But boy, they did not deserve that dog, did not deserve that. Oh, baby. All right. Get me through that exit. I can't think of it right now because there's quite a few, but man. The Awakened one is just a bird man. It's like, eh, the fight design is cool. Like, don't. I, I'm not even going to attempt to criticize game design wise. Slay the Spire. Probably top 10 of all time. Nothing to throw at that. I mean, it's so impressive that the, the way that they created all these characters and so much variety with the cards and they nearly every card you can find a niche for it. Ow. Did not expect this man to be so high up. I should have seen it coming from the top. But I didn't, so we can return to our normal programming. <laughs> These arrow traps today are just positioned in the most dastardly way to get me absolutely obliterated. Oh, yeah, that's been running through my mind because I have put so many hours into this latest fire, my downtime and stuff, and hasn't been a, a ton of downtime, but I just like to have it there. It's such an awesome game, and it just makes me want to learn to play it really well, and I've been attempted to do just as much because there was something said earlier that actually resonated with me and that's something that I had thought it about in the past but not really acted on it for a while I mean there was a key in the chest over there that we could have gone for it with that much of a time cost that's okay for a while I was like man I would like to find some other game out there that I really like playing and that I can get really good at it. I don't want to just play through it. I want to like get really skilled at it. Beautiful shop. Tempted not to take this this teleporter because it can end in disaster again, but damn it, I'm going to learn to be the absolute best with this teleport teleporter. And if you don't get wrecked over and over as a teleporter. Turns out, please stop! This monkey went to town. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, everything's under control. Find the game that I can get really good at. To the level of, I mean, obviously I'm not the absolute best in Spelunky. But I'm pretty good. <laughs> Panic rope, no, nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. And I kind of gave up on that some time ago because I just couldn't find another game that I was so into. Slay the Spire may be it. Oh, I... Piece of garbage. Absolute piece of garbage. Of all the things that could have killed me, feels like that shouldn't have. Because uh, I got renewed impetus towards that goal. Recently there was a comment going like, well, you know, when you play another game, it's like seeing a highly trained MMA fighter play a game of croquet. You may make it entertaining, but it's just not the same. You know, that was the gist of it. And I really appreciate that kind of uh, feedback. Where... Sincere... Why? Why? Why is things happening right here? Uh, sincere opinions are given without any kind of trying to put me down as a person, you know? <laughs> but... Uh, it resonated because it has something that I had already thought about. It was like... I feel the same way. I see some rando on YouTube recommendation. And it's like, they're just playing a game. You're, you're one in a dime a dozen, you know? 
Everybody does this. What, what you got to offer, friendo? You're gonna die here. You look for the people that are really skilled at it, uh, that made it not just entertaining, but also they're really good at the game and they are impressive with their skills. So, Slay the Spire, while different and more difficult to show that you're actually good at it, uh, it's another game that I would like to get there. So, I think I'm going to, you know, dedicate quite a few hours to just learning, which I have already been doing, just watching people play that actually know exactly what they're doing and their, the way that they reason. And I gotta say, the last runs, the, the next one that's going up, the next video that's going up, is not going to be, uh, let's say, the most successful run of all time, but that was the one right before I got this bug inside me trying to, to get good. I like this session of speedruns that are all absolute garbage. What? <laughs> absolute trash? Maybe I should be concentrating on what we're doing. But anyway, after that last run that I recorded, I've, I have not lost since. Just get raking up those hard kills. Getting the ending for every character and all that kind of stuff. Like, uh, just embracing different philosophies to how to build decks and all that stuff. So, if you're interested in a rapid improvement in skill and hopefully eventually uh, very successful Ascension 20 series of runs. That's on Beta Blargo right there on the different channel. What did I murder that guy? What did he have? I think I had a, a compass that triggered my murderous intent. And also a whole bunch of bombs that I continue to just forget to use. It's very frustrating. I get this fat stack of bombs and I just don't use them because I am used to be frugal. I'm used to being sparse with my resources. Just continue throwing those bombs down. Better than triggering. <laughs> Get out of here. You idiot. Better than triggering... What was I saying? Arrow traps. With ropes. Can't believe it's freaking snowing, man. It's, it's freaking late April. How can it be snowing? It is nonsense. It's not late April, it's, it's the beginning of April. Ah! Yep, 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 that is change was foretold. Stupid. You know what happened there? I did not use my damn bombs. I did not use my damn bombs. Why? To destroy the damn tree. Time to focus. Time to focus. Going to jump right into the... <laughs> the amazing Arrow Weaver. What a guy, he just kneeled the crap out of that, leaning backwards, leaning all those arrows. Floored him by. I mean, usually... What the... That's nonsense. Usually, I will actually just steal this jetpack, but he also had the Matog. So that means we can make this happen that much nicer. Just getting, keep getting distracted, looking out the window, seeing that snow falling. Freaking April, brother! What is going on? Stupid Alaska! <sighs> Random bullets floating towards me. All of these jetpacks being utterly wasted through no fault of my own. There is zero responsibility being attributed to my person right now. Right, right up my butt cheeks. Oh yeah. Wonderful <laughs> stuff. Just pierce my groin, why don't you? Just put me out of my misery. <laughs> How can this be any more, any more shameful? Wow. It's all right. We're just starting rough. But now that we got a compass, now that we got the means of production, we're going to seize them further and we're going to create a truly successful run for the glory of Arstoska. It's going to be excellent. And it's going to happen all right here. You know what? Take that extra second. There you go. Get that point of health. It's going to help me out. Between this compass and the point of health that I have restored. And the Matok coming up. It's all right. We got this under control. Just keep bouncing. It's all good. 
keep bouncing like an absolute buffoon. You may say, Blargo, you are completely destroyed, and you will be right. Because there was a perfect trap to go, to go get out of there. There was literally no way for me to avoid those, those uh, arrow traps. I would like for you to come up with a method to avoid those arrow traps other than maybe cooking a bomb to destroy them beneath them. Yes, I would maybe just blowing them up from the bottom. That would have been real nice. That compass, what a waste. What, what, is, what is going on with this little generation? You got nothing that interests me, so I guess I will let you live. I've been killing so many shopkeepers lately. I've been just relishing the vile act of doing all okay. what is just a freestanding power keg I, it just flabbergasted me I needed to point it out I needed to just stand around it and just admire it because it was the fine of the decade what is with this freestanding powder kegs we have seen a bunch of them it used to be a thing. Could have sworn. This blowing snow, man. It's just oh, it's just melting my brain. Seeing blowing snow. Freaking April 4th. Or whatever the hell the day is today. I really could have used a little bit of thievery and murder against that guy. What is happening? I don't know, man. It just like my brain is working two miles an hour before uh, uh, slower than usual it's not like super much slower but it's slow enough to completely obliterate my usual spelunky food and it's like i was just now saying i want to be as good in slay the spire as i want to as i am in spelunky well i'm already there because i'm awful at both yes death must be doled out don't remember don't forget you can use tons of bombs now. We have sticky bombs. We have lots and lots and lots of bombs. Let's make good use of them. I have to actually wait for this stupid cobra. It's not where the bomb should have gone. I thought that maybe there was a different way to approach this. <laughs> Fills me with joy to watch this shopkeeper get himself impaled at the sight of Paco's Blanco. I would also immediately kill myself lest I have access to your butt cheeks. Get wrecked, scum lord! Oh, no, 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 no! <coughs> Somehow avoided that last point of damage. I don't know. That boomerang just was really effective. Maybe he just bounced on the, the metal plate on my forehead. Either way, the boomerang did not do what it was supposed to do. I'm going to put three bombs there because of this stupid plant. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! I have found the black market completely by accident. Feels good, man. Feels good to get rewarded by being 100% incompetent. Do something like this. And down you go. Down you go. Get me all the good stuff. Made your stupid. You know what? We might be able to save you. We might be able to save you. Unlikely. But we might be able to save you. Oops. The third one was not intended. Come on, friendo. I really hate how long this is taking. I hate it. Oh! <laughs> well, you got what you deserve. Those two should work. Or maybe not. Please. How are you not dead? You garbage person. Alright. We got this. It was slightly... I'm going to throw quite a few more in there. Because there's another weirdo. Oh boy, he was only stunned. Alright, we got through. Could have been worse, could have been better. I, I'm okay with one minute of uh, black market. I uh, really don't like this shotgun. What do we have? Spring shoes. Spring shoes and the cape. Lots and lots and lots of bombs. Where's the exit? Really? I should have just gone. That was no, so unnecessary. All that dithering and fooling around. I should have definitely rescued this, the, 
damsel as well. Hey, we're, we're, we're making it. We're making it happen. I was using the jetpack, thinking that I had it. I think it's this way, yeah. Yeah, la, la, la. Oh boy. <laughs> so many ways I should be dead. And yet here I am. Must be a sign from the heavens. Oh, I messed up the timing, but it doesn't matter. Because there is nothing but amazing luck. Splunky was hearing my prayers in the back of my head. It was like, please, don't let this be so thoroughly humiliating. Please. Make it so that this run can be salvaged. Eee. Oh! That was slightly more daring than it should have been. Not happy with it. Oh boy. Ali Altar. Oh, nice. A six second find of that exit. Oh, now we're into the temple. Fantastic stuff. Don't forget, we got lots and lots of, ro of bombs. Please don't destroy me. Oh, so we kind of have to do both of the things that I just did. Please leave me alone. <laughs> oh, what is happening right now? Uh, the second bomb is going to reach. Mr. Shopkeeper, it didn't. Anubis? Uh, Anubis is the thing that needs to happen. I get here so seldom that I completely forgot we were actually on the path to hell, so let me just commit suicide immediately and go back to this beginning because the shame cannot be cannot be withstood. I cannot take it. The shame of not going after Anubis. I cannot take it. I need to just restart, try to redeem myself. So that was awful. Is that perhaps the most uttered sentence through the entire lifetime of this series that's possible another possible often utter sentences oh hello whenever i discover something hilarious or, or fun well that did not go the way i expected it but i'll embrace it surprised i then there was no shop anywhere to see really weird sometimes the level generation happens that way what i didn't tap the corner there oh nice all right, we got another hell run in our hands. It's totally gonna happen. The black market is going to be straight in my path, but it will be slightly obscure so that it will matter that I got the Ujarai. I will do this. And in fact, take this route and then be completely humiliated. It's okay with the Ujarai pickup. We still have a decent chance of having an okay hell run so we're not going to just abandon this but let it stand on record that i feel a deep harrowing ball of shame in my chest and there's no way of lifting there's no way to dissolve it or get rid of it it is just shame 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 i was feeling slightly proud for a microsecond about finding the right path around those monkeys but then, of course, there was also the bat. I'm feeling great about that one. What is going on? What is happening right now? Or have we entered a twilight zone? Have we entered a parallel world in which every path that I go down leads to utter humiliation, defeat, and loneliness? The answer is yes, because that's what happened when I was born. It's just it. It's just the way life has been. Is that the exit? Not sure. I think so. It is the exit from this horrible and hollow life. Straight to spikes. That is the way I like to go. <laughs> Straight into spikes. It is my life experience. Just speed it up. Speed up the process. Uh, we can just restart over and over and over. This might be the record. Now, nah, because we did get to the temple that one time and then managed to also botch it spectacularly. But, hey, you got a, a base jump run going on here. Get a parachute 
and then don't trigger it until the end. Oh, well, we try to concentrate on that. My my parachute percent it has never been completed on this channel. It's one of the few things I would, but slightly too late. One of the few things I've actually not done at all. So maybe there's a little bit of worth. And concentrate on that one for this particular run. Go a little bit slower. What the? We just don't talk about that, okay? I'm not going to talk about it. Life is going to be just fine. No chat. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Base jump all the way to hell. One point of health, that's all right. We've been here before. We don't care. We can get through it no problem. We can recover if we manage to not be terrible for just one run. We can make it happen. Unfortunately, this is the alternate reality in which I am instantly terrible. I was concentrating on the Cobra, okay? And the spider was a little too much to the left. A little too much to the right. And I was a little too much to... Uh, the, you know one time and said, you, you know the thing. You know the thing. Uh, exactly what I'm trying to say. I don't need to finish my sentences. You know what I'm going to say. So why even bother to communicate in a clear manner? Just imagine what I'm going to say. And that's good enough. Might as well just remain silent from, the, from this point forward. And you can just imagine the commentary. And you could say, oh, that's lazy, Blargo, what the hell? No, that is accommodating to your needs. Accommodating to whatever you would like me to say best. It's very important to me that I never say anything that might offend you and make you feel bad about you. So, if you just imagine what's coming out of my mouth at all times. Freaking, at least we got a little point of health. You just imagine what's coming out of my mouth at all times. There is no way I could possibly offend you. That is, I think, the way that speech will go forward. Uh, oh boy. In the coming years. Well, I guess it was going forward unless until this entire super global mega crisis that will probably ruin everybody's lives for this entire century uh, change the course of, of civilization. So, you know, thanks. The Corvid Menace. I can't get out of here. I guess I'll use double resources. Thanks to the Corvid Menace for liberating us from the Church of Woke. Thank you so much. At least there's silver linings. Anyway, hey, uh, without trying, without even attempting it, without paying any close attention to it, here we are in the jungle having a great time. Our base jump run is actually happening. I mean, uh, using a few resources that I shouldn't have. I am here in a place uh, that completely the wrong path. Still here though. We did have... No wait, the base jump thing. That's not happening anymore. I don't have it. <laughs> this is a completely random speedrun. Uh, hopefully it's leading to great things. Going under all the monkeys. Another time in which I actually pick the right payoff. This is torture and I want to be liberated. But please, not with death. The sweet release of death will come when I close the recording and I, you know, put my mouth where my words are and I embrace release. Oh boy. For the time being, hold off your cruel yet fulminating hand of justice. Oh, Green Reaper. Oh, Green Reaper. The Great Equalizer. I hate this. Please, no. Please, no, don't murder me this way. <laughs> thought that we had still one more level to go. But no, we were at the bottom. We were at the stark bottom of that level, and there was nothing else to go but down into the pit. I don't commit to 1-1 one -one bombs. There is no reason to do that. Just abandon and move on. Uh, this feels so bad. I cannot, in good conscience, 
just stop. So here we are. You know what, Adam? You're going to be an incredible tool to stay safe. Very, very slow, 1-1. But if you start, you start with a little bit more health. It's totally worth it, I think. It'll actually save your bacon later on when you're in that desperate situation of one point health, one point of health left. And I'm telling you, man, I'm just really clumsy today. <laughs> There's just no way around it. There's some some real clumsiness. I should have simply gone down. Ooh. Should have simply gone down. Oh boy. Yeah. Should have simply gone down the gap instead I got batted right in the face got super batted uh... oh boy it's all good found that exit right away it, to the point of runs they take way more brain power from me it is so much more difficult Whew. gotcha baby it's much more difficult to figure out when to press that button as opposed to when to hold on. Hold off. Let's just keep going sideways. There's a compass. That could be useful. Oh! I thought yeah, he was gone to the side. I should have simply locked down. Oh, the backwards whip save. That is redemption right there. That right there that tiny little gesture that was enough for me to feel like my utter failure perhaps it's not so bad even though i just got myself caught in a freaking ledge like a total buffoon all right that i have to call it i have to call it last run we have the mad talk descending that snake pit extremely fast so we are looking okay don't spider me. Don't spider me. Just let me go. All right. I actually found that exit through the tunneling. It was a completely different level. If we had simply not used our incredible pickaxe. Destroy those damn arrow traps. Have to do. <laughs> Just absolutely must. Oh, I even had one of those. I could have simply... Please let me go. That was kind of weird. How I didn't uh, use the teleporter while I was caught in the in the cobweb. The mattock was a great cho uh, choice. A great chode. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to do, man? What you want me to do? There's a narrow pointing down. I have a teleporter in my hands. It looks safe. I'm going to teleport down. You cannot expect me. To anticipate the dark pit of spikes. Ooh. You can't anticipate me to just have that in, head, in my head as opposed to... I guess I could have simply teleported down twice and that would have been enough. But of course, you know... Eee! Let's just not... Let's just simply move on. Uh, of course, what I was saying... I should have simply stuck with the Matok and the jetpack. That is like my... That's the level of comfort. That's where I can actually capitalize on and hopefully carry out something that's actually good. As opposed to the teleporter, which always, invariably, ends with me. Just, uh... That's fine paste! That's kind of weird. No, I grabbed the shopkeeper twice instead of the shotgun, but that's all right. We were able to course correct and everything turned out just fine. Just hold on to that ledge. Hmm, could be something interesting there. Oh, it's not there. Wow, really? What the? Mm. Should have anticipated it, of course. I uh, should have realized that, hey, the stun period is not nearly long enough for you to get away with this. Instead, just tried to escape like a total moron. I should have simply shot him in the back. Always when in doubt, shoot somebody who's down in the back so they never get up again. It's like that old story. You got a burglar in your house and you shot him to 
deter them, but they didn't drop dead. Well, now they can turn around and sue you. You better be sure those people don't draw a breath anymore. That way, they will not ruin your life after ruining your life. You had to murder them in self-defense. So that's going to mess you up pretty rough. But then after that, you also get ruined financially by the people, those people turning around and throwing a lawsuit at you. I'm just going to do a little bit of murder here and hope that it works out. A little bit of... Uh, a little bit of proactive vandalism. Pickaxe to, pickax to the fa face that can murder somebody or it can just leave them mentally disabled. Either way, it is quite the crime. Still better than just outright obliterating their anuses. Surprised that there is no... Ow. Surprised that there is no... Uh, that I grabbed some climbing gloves. I don't know why that sentence started the way they did, but it did. And then I had to correct the whole thing. And that is what happened. Yes. I had the climbing gloves and I had no idea when did I grab them, but... Uh, I can't... I can't possibly let go. The amount of shame that I'm feeling has not been diminished by the little moves of redemption here and there i must continue until we get somewhere significant and i don't squander it i think that's what really rankles that we've had some seriously good seeds among all the chaff and i have wasted them so hard so many times where with jetpacks and teleporters and matox and stuff and just toss them into the garbage so Let's see if we can uh, make up for that. That is what I am attempting right now. Don't question what just happened. Just accept that it happened and let's be happy for it. Somehow, I just... I think I was still tiny, uh, a little bit in the invulnerability period. This is just... This is just asinine. Asinine. The amount of aggression that I face just for being so damn handsome. It's just absolutely shameful man it's just not right it's not right you got a teleporter oh boy <laughs> still here still moving everything's fine for one time the teleporter was in fact the the right choice and it and enabled me to escape the damn message every time i saw the spike bit and I did press the teleporting button. A fraction of a second too late. We could have escaped that. Teleporting continues to be the reason why we end up in an early grave. Not my use of the teleporter. The teleporter itself is uh, responsible. Just like people don't kill, kill people, guns kill people. That's the way it is. Knives don't... People with knives are not to blame because the knives themselves just ban all knives. Spoons are 100% to blame for me gorging myself with ice cream. If there were no spoons, then I would not be responsible for all the ice cream gorging. Do you understand? It's all very, very clear to me that I can simply blame the tools that I use as opposed to to my own personal responsibility. And that's the way I'm going to conduct myself and my business. It's a terrible choice that what I've, what I've done. Oh boy. And also this avenue of discourse is also a terrible choice. Don't go there. Don't ever broach the most tired and impassable argument uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it was only a tiny, tiny window of opportunity, and I am very glad that we actually found it there because, boy, was that very traumatic. Very traumatic. So we can find the freaking exit here. Pretty damn infuriating. We can go under this weirdo. <laughs> that should not have worked. <laughs> it worked just fine, so it's all good. That was expertise right there. That was me knowing the patterns. Me seeing 
the freaking matrix in between the pines. Please stop <laughs> sending bloodthirsty bats after my person. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. These bats are trying to ruin my life. They're trying to get into my soup. What was the spider? What is happening right now? <laughs> <sighs> the damage I have received in this level. It is the highest amount of complete bullshit that has ever been recorded. It's time to leave our mantok behind. I am ready to embrace life. <laughs> Hope you had a great time today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, I think I'm going to lay down for a while. <laughs>